Future. Yeah, yeah Christmas Future. Mm. Burn it <laughs> Graves. But you know, I was, I was watching that. Wait, the other was day. It, is it Timmy? Is it Timmy? Or Tiny it? Tim. Tiny Tim, man. Tell that, Tiny Tim wait, I won't be coming home this I Christmas. can't wait to smash that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the... Hello everybody, really sorry that we didn't mention this in the podcast, but this is our last podcast of the year. We're going to be having a Christmas break and the next podcast will be on the 6th of January. Yeah. Come on, Greg, you got to say something. Say something nice to the peeps. Um, this is your month. This You're Macaulay Culkin. Uh, yeah, just try to avoid robbers. Uh, set traps. Um, if you're robbing, watch out for traps. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, Brilliant, <laughs> Kyle. Just have a good Matt. Christmas. Yeah. This podcast, I'm Matt, the host with you're not a the big, host. big old belly. You're the Lewis and Gerg. Hello, everyone. Gerg the elf. I'm I'm an elf, as you can see. He's by Christmas my ears. elf. Santa gave me a little bit of free time. Mm. I've come on this podcast tonight to. Uh, to advertise Christmas, I've been hearing that some people don't like Christmas anymore. So I'm here to tell you, Christmas back in action. Santa's lost a bit of weight. He's ready. Rudolph's off the fucking drugs. He's off the ketamine. <laughs> it's great. We're going. We're going in for it. So I thought ketamine was for horses, not for reindeers. But they're like they're like sort of horse-like. They got hooves. <laughs> like, you don't fucking know. You don't know anything about magical reindeer anyway. It's yeah, just, they're magic, no. Matt. How do you think they fly? Yeah. What do you They're high as a great mate. You know? They're off their tits. Uh, this is what I know. I got a degree reindeer, in elfology. Reindeers look like horses that have just run through a thick brush <laughs> and got some. <laughs> Brilliant. What a way to okay. start the podcast. Well, okay. Uh, if you can't guess what this topic is about, it is about Christmas. Christmas. All just, things uh, Christmas. Well, this is, this is, just it's Christmas you, time. You can't tell. If you don't like Christmas, just switch it off. Yeah. You also, know? in this podcast, we are going to skip the what have we been doing section, and we might get rid of that, because it is literally just, I haven't done anything. I played some games. Yeah, if you want to know. I, I had a wank. Yeah, it's d- just Just, it's just a quick list of game I play. I, I start playing Witch Free again, boom. Oh, uh, uh, oh uh, what was that waffle? Oh, it's, it's, it's no, what, what was the word? What was the word? Full of Fluff. It's full it's of full waffle. Of it's so full of waffle and fluff. Yeah, you love it. It's funny, I was, I was playing it. I'll fill you with waffle and I was playing and it the other day, and um, I, I was like, I was getting back into the main quest, and I was like, yeah, this is, okay, this is, the flow's starting to get there again. And then it's just like, oh, what well, this person wants to talk to me, and it's like, hello, Gerard, it has been 20 years since we last saw each other. Yes, yes, it has. Oh, but uh, I this monster, and I I, I saw. Are we this out? I saw... <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. So. All right, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. So you, <laughs> I don't, they they can't handle the Christmas. The topic is Christmas. Mm. Uh, we'll, I just want to point out that we might actually make some merch if you guys are up. Yes. For, um, just gonna make a few designs. We'll all put them up. You don't have to buy them. No. It, obviously, it contributes to us, and you get a nice little T-shirt. Yeah. So. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna sit and make the designs ourselves and stuff. Have like, oh, that's loud. Huh? You on the table, very loud. For someone yeah, who's banging bad, on yeah. about the table all the bad. time, you, 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 you put on the floor. You, you, you don't know until you get the headphones on because it take the world turns different, doesn't it? <laughs> it is a bit. It's odd, a different world, world isn't it? It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, it's, I can't remember what I was saying. It doesn't. Anyway, I'm drinking. Anyway. I'm drinking for this podcast. We've never had alcohol on this podcast. It's a Christmas podcast. And what until... is Christmas about other than getting bladdered to avoid your family? I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna get some red wine in me. Uh, we're gonna have a good time. Yeah. So we're gonna be talking all things Christmasy. That's from Christmas music to Christmas films to your own Christmas experiences. It's Christmas shit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Christmas shit. So what should we start with? There's like there's a lot of stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna talk through. about. The worst Christmas. The worst Christmas. Might as well get the worst one out of the way. The worst yeah. Christmas we ever had. And bad. ye had the worst Christmas, I was Mr. about Scrooge. 14, so Greg would have been 12. And everyone in my house was ill. And I don't mean like... Oh, I don't feel... We, we all had bowls. Mm. Yeah, like proper... proper, bowls. proper like, I've been like that blue. a couple yeah. of Christmases. It's what, why is it? What is it to do with Christmas? Are you just know. so happy you just get ill? I don't know. I remember one year as a kid laying on the sofa and my mum was like, 
Yeah. Do you want to open your... Pre- and I couldn't even bring myself to open my own presents because I was that sick. I was That's funny. Letting, I was letting the sofa like, can you open it for me? I, I remember I was... that year so vividly, not so much because of the throwing up like constantly. Because I got GTA San Andreas. <laughs> oh yeah, that was some good shit, man. You know what happened? I, I wake up in the morning and I'm, I'm puking up. I, I, You know, I go out to puke up in the toilet. Everyone else is puking up. And I'm like... God damn! But I got I know I got San Andreas downstairs, so I'm like I'm like hurrying everyone. I'm like, look, I know we're feeling ill, but we got presents. <laughs> but it's open. Christmas, come on! So I'm there and I'm opening up my presents. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> 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 and then San Andreas comes out, and I'm like, Ugh. see you later. <laughs> and I go up to my room, and I'm see sat there. I'm playing. I'm playing San Andreas. And then I'm puking. And then I'm back on it. I'm puking. What I ate that day was like some noodle soup. That is a dedicated gamer right because, there. Right, was... Because um, Greg was literally like this with a bowl here. Yeah, I'd be like... Ugh. But because we'd all puked so much, mm. everyone just started dry heaving because there was nothing left. Oh yeah. And it was horrible. You just, horrible, you just hear someone go... Like, <laughs> no. There was just nothing to get out anymore. It was, it was, so... it was horrible. Oh. Um, <laughs> One of the best things, though, is I think it was like maybe two or three nights before Christmas. Mm. Um, that Christmas. Same Christmas. And Greg, Greg's like, oh, mate, I'm going to be sick. And I'm like, what, what, what? And so I follow him and he runs into the sink and he pukes in the sink. And I like, you've seen my Where's My Challenge videos. Probably worse than that. Imagine my really long pukes that I, I, I've, <sighs> I've done. It was like that, but like not just liquid. It was bad. It was pretty bad. Oh, God. It was just literally everything in your yeah. stomach came out at once. But it blocked the sink. Oh, geez. So we were like, That's what crazy. the fuck? Are we, what do we do? Greg just goes, puts his finger in there <laughs> and spins around the, like, the puke to get what? it down the what? drain. It worked. It did work. The thing is, is that another thing that I remembered about that uh, time is uh, on Christmas Eve, uh, we, as a family, we went to like, some car- I don't know if you went, but as a family, we went to like this uh, Christmas caroling service at a church. Oh, God. And I'm there. And I, You're I, damn I, right I didn't go. And I, I'm sat there, when well, I stood there, and I'm just... Uh, Everyone's reading all these stupid hymn crap. I don't know, you know, like, <laughs> ble- bless the father's balls and all that shit. <laughs> and I'm just like... That's my favourite one. And I, talk about religion, Greg. Go ahead, keep that's going. as far I, as... I've been part of Christmas, but whatever. Um, the birth of Santa? Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're there, and I, I start feeling all dizzy. And I'm next to this candle, so I'm thinking... This candle's just, you know, the heat's just making me feel a bit dizzy. <laughs> From a candle? <laughs> no, but like, you never get that when you hear like, something hot and it, it makes you yeah, feel How close were you to this candle? Yeah, I mean, you know about that. <laughs> So I'm there, like so you get, get hot from I'm a not, candle. I'm, feel, I'm feeling in a, hot, quite in a, like a cold I, night. Yeah, no, I was feeling cold hot. Cold Christmas night, dizzy. a bit of candle was making you feel sick at, at the church. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I was just like, I was be, feeling a bit woozy, and then I'm holding this Bible. <laughs> or whatever it is, Bible, hymn book. I, I reckon it wasn't the candle. I reckon it was just the demon and the darkness inside yeah, no, in the church. Like, and then I, I threw up on it. I threw up all over myself. I threw up all over the benches. I threw up. How packed was I the f- place? It was f- fully packed. <laughs> this is rubbish. I've never heard of no, this. Mate, w- talk to our mum after this. It's 100% true. I puke up. Gets everywhere. Gets onto like the little kneeling things they have, <laughs> you know. The cushions, dude. We could probably, on the, we, we could probably go to cushions. that church, find that spot, get some DNA samples, man. A hundred percent. There's probably There's some, some noodles throat. still left. I puked up loads, and that was the first time everyone properly got sick. After that, it was my fault. I I got everyone dude, sick. Dude, you're talking about your family. If you puked in that church, there's a good chance that everyone in that church also had a Christmas that very similar like to yours. From well, family guy. The way I, yeah, but the way I see it is that they all infe- they all got infected on Christmas. They're all Christians there singing their prayers. <laughs> Mate, God ain't looking out for them that Christmas. <laughs> the demon got them. <laughs> for sickness and for health. Mm, yeah. Okay, have you had anything like yeah, that? You know, no, I've never... I've never, I've never... Bible. I've never spewed over a Bible It, 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 it wasn't like complete cover. It was more like half. Did you, were you just like, I'm sorry, father, handing a puke <laughs> to him? Mate, I just walked off puking. 
I forgot a few Did the carolers the carry on singing? Nah, nah, everyone was quiet. Like, it was... oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. And then my mum's there, like, oh, dear, you'll be fine. Oh, oh. And, like, rubbing my back as I'm walking on my puking. <laughs> and I'm, like, 12 years old, embarrassed as shit. It's like a hot girl, like, a few aisles down, and she's staring at me. And I'm just like, well, she's staring at me for the right reasons. Aren't you upset you didn't go now? Very. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm you don't know about that. That's the, that's what kickstarted the whole thing off. No, <laughs> it was a fun night. Oh, oh fucking hell! Do you know hell. what? Right, I, you've told me something now that is probably so funny. I just <laughs> can't, laugh. I can't laugh. You need you need to see it visualized and then you're laughing. Yeah, you need to see it. Can anyone a- animate a little like nativity scene in a we carol? Can go back to, we can go back to Greg that church. I think a... the church is yeah, the church is still standing, and we could go to that church and we could just reenact it. Oh god! Uh, can we please? Uh, can we please go there and see if they find any puke stain kneel <laughs> kneeling? I can't. Someone's going to correct me in the in the comments. You know the little cushions. Yeah, kneel cushions. Yeah. yeah. Kneel well, kneel, sure kneel cushion them. sounds like a, a like a guy who sings on cruise ships. Because the thing is, I don't I don't know what happened <laughs> after that. Kneel cushions. Because I, I, I left and we went. It's, it's like. Mum packed everyone up in the car and we just drove off. <laughs> it's like my mum was just like done. Were you? He- were you- I'm surprised I didn't try and exercise you. Yeah, I know. that's probably what it was. I'm thinking. <laughs> Gotta get I'm him out thinking of that it. exorcist scene now where she just comes up and pukes everywhere. But in a Christmas, it was like hat. that. Yeah, yeah, it was like that. But that's that's what everyone was like that Christmas. It was so bad. Demons everywhere. That night. Yeah, no, I haven't had a Christmas that bad. No, I never knew that one. No, it's a good one, isn't it? You've always. I don't think me. I've ever really had any bad Christmases, to be honest. Because the thing is, is that um, I think a lot of bad Christmases, and this is just, this is conjecture, but I would assume that a lot of bad Christmases are due to all family being in one place at one time. And there's arguments that happen, you know, there's family that you only see at Christmas. But I've got a fairly small family. You know, I've got no aunties and uncles. I've got no cousins. My grandparents don't come over for Christmas. So Christmas is just like me, my mum and dad and brother. And it's always <clears> been like that. So we've never really had any sort of arguments or, do you know what I mean? But then you see like these films and I, I go, you know, and see other people's family Christmases. And there's yeah, like, like Home Alone. Yeah, there's like 170 people in a house. It's like, no wonder you all fucking like, you're all, you all want Christmas to be over and you're drinking the we, season we, away. We've like, already gone all right. Like, we've never that. really had like a bad argument on Christmas that I can remember. <laughs> This present shit. It, you're literally yeah. just so like enthralled with whatever video game you, you, you've bought. That was all I used to do. I used to open yeah. up my presents, get a video game, and my dad would be like, so what are we all doing on Christmas things? Me and my brother would just be like, bye, upstairs yeah. for the rest of the day, until dinner, until Christmas dinner. Yeah, well, like, what do you think it. about Christmas dinner? I is it me- the best dinner? No. Uh, well, I think roasts are the best dinner, the so is, a Christmas the, dinner is... My just- issue is not so much with the way our family does it, because... Um, we fought against it, but roast turkey is shit. I fucking hate it. Mm. See, I really like turkey because I, I don't like chicken. Unless chicken is fried or like seasoned. You know, when you just get chicken, it's like... We don't have chicken. No, it's rubbish. the same with turkey. Turkey is wank without gravy. Yeah, you, yeah. you found that out the, the hard way. No, but if, mm. yeah, but that's, that's the thing. That's a brilliant video. But I think turkey just tastes nicer than, than no. chicken. Uh, the, 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 I no, like well, The thing is, is that like... We used to do gammon. The so- yeah, we always did gammon. See, I used to hate gammon when I was younger, but I quite like it now. It's, nice. I it, it's, it's weird because I have so many people I've met, um, they're always like, oh no, you haven't had a proper roast turkey. I'll make one for you. And then they make one. and Or, or I'm around their families when they have like a Sunday lunch and... I'm just like this is just it's still trash. <laughs> is this is trash. Do you know why uh, Turkey it's became like fucking a... Grogdon Ramsay? No, no, t- Turkey did become the like the main meat for Christmas because it's pauper food. And well, it, yeah. so so are lobsters. I know, but not anymore. Fat facts. Well, they were in America. I was just thinking but... of a little fat then. A fat. A fat. I was thinking of a fat. I heard this a very long time ago. And I remember being convinced it was true, and I have no idea if it's wrong or not. But correct, if it is wrong, I fucking cut it out. So I don't give a shit. Do you know what they eat in Japan on Christmas Day? Do they even have a Christmas Day? The Japanese. Yeah. What, what they eat? Yeah. Um, well, you know, we have a Christmas dinner mm, roast. Octopus. Do you know what they have? <laughs> Greg said octopus. And I hope it's true. Squid. KFC. KFC. I said that. Did you? No. I didn't think you did. 
asshole. I'm pretty sure if I if was I'm wrong, it. if I'm wrong, correct me. But I remember reading it ages ago, or it was like on a quiz or something. Like, what do the Japanese have on Christmas Day? I don't know. It's like KFC. It's been that sounds like an since... onion article. I yeah. don't know, but I think it was like some marketing thing. I don't like, think. I, I, don't th- I don't think they. Celebrate Christmas. Yeah, they're all no? like Shinto waifus people. Yeah, I don't whatever. fucking know, but like I remember reading that somewhere, or it was it was Japan or China. Or maybe or it's like their version of Christmas. Maybe yeah. they have like a. I don't know. Special it could holiday. be complete internet bollocks, but I remember reading it somewhere. Yeah, everything's internet. Ninety eight percent. True facts. Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Read um, this article. I can't believe what's at number eight. So that's our experiences of Christmas. Yeah, but. Mm. Oh, like there's never experience of Christmas. I would love to just quickly mention because it's it's not best Christmas ever, but it's a funny, funny Christmas. So back when I was like, you know, like sort of between like eight, seventeen, eighteen, and like twenty something, uh, we used to go to my mate's like uh, the back of my mate's house. He had like this sort of shed. It wasn't really a shed. It was just like it was like a stone garage, but we called it the shed. Okay, that was the name. You're of the fucking show. stupid, then. And then we were going there. There were sofas in there. And we were just going there. And we would yeah, just get blazed. Okay, Dude, I've been we, we so would funny. we would turn out like this guy. We would be like green <laughs> blazed. So yeah, we go there. <laughs> Christmas Day, I get a phone call at like four o'clock, <laughs> and we've had I've had like Christmas dinner and all that. All my family are watching like stupid films. I, I've watched a thousand times. And I just get a friend saying... TV at Christmas yeah, is shit. Hey, man, yeah. you want to get... And we're just like, oh, yeah, of course I do. So, <laughs> so he picks me up. We go over to the shed, and we celebrate a thing called Shedmas. Amazing. And this is incredible. I just... Yeah, I, I just... I just got super... I, I was really drunk. It's possibly and the, was, the most know, when English you're, when you, thing I've ever heard. When, when like, you're drunk, and then you mix it with a bit of uh, weed, you get you, you get even more screwed. I was the just beer there, before bomb, I was just there laying really on the sofa, like spinning it out, and that was my Christmas. It was a pretty good Christmas. Not the best Christmas, but it's definitely a memorable. Dude, one. spinning it out is so weird. It makes me think. You know, have you ever seen those things where people hold on and they're on a gyroscope? Yeah, like, yeah, but you're not moving. <laughs> you you're, you're just it's... sat there like this, and you uh, and everything's just like. Uh, so, it's Dude, so someone original. told me mm. that when you're spinning out, you stand up and you spin the other way and it stops. Fuck it, no, it doesn't. No, that, that's, that's a trick. <laughs> yeah, that's a trick. That's, to make you, that's, that's trying to get that's a whitey. That's a, out, yeah, that's, that's a sort of trying to get you to spew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm dreaming of a whitey Christmas. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, uh, yeah, I remember that place as well. It was there was one time mm. I went there. It was the Christmas. Shed. It was yeah. the shed, and literally we were just you know. Smoking doobie, and then literally, like we all just, I just woke up at like three, and everyone else mm. was asleep. Yeah, man, that happened, <laughs> that that happened like every si- every single time I uh, ever went over there. It's so funny. We, we were just. Did you did you have Halloween as well? Halloween. Nah, oh. we, we should have. We we oh. like we were we would just get so baked and drunk in there that like we would just fall asleep, wake up at, like four a.m. and just like. <laughs> 4.20am yeah put, 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 then just put a joint back oh, in your mouth man, light man. it and start playing on we had a Gamecube so it was pretty cool oh, how about we also used to have a secret Santa there every now and then like I think we did only did it a few years but we had a secret Santa so oh mate the where's my challenge I was going to get you Santa some presents but I'm skinned mm, so. don't worry about it no um, like to present to you in the podcast oh, okay. I saw some sh- where was I I can't remember where I was I don't want your tat um, no 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 it was a fucking it, I think I was in Sainsbury's and there was like this little dig up your own dinosaur fossil thing or something. And I was like, I need to get that for this wanker. I'll never so leave funny. that shit down. <laughs> I should never have done it. I, it's like, I, I should never have done it. Like, yeah, okay. I, I did a few years of paleontology at universities. So like, I'd never live it down. It's like, dinosaur oh, oh, bummer. Oh, from Friends. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Shut, shut you up, you fucking yeah. cunt. Shut up, you. Go stick your dick in a rock. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, guys. That's, that's decent. But yeah, no, the Where's My Challenge Secret Santas were mental. They were fun. They were very, I watched them fun. all back the other yeah, day. Yeah, they're very fun. Didn't you, is that where you got that big dildo from? Yeah. Mm. I remember, because you used to, like, stick on things. We yeah. used to, in the office, in the HQ, in old HQ, uh, we used to stick it in the fridge door. Mm. So, like, you would bang it on the inside of the fridge door, and you open the fridge, and it would go, bang, like that, with a milk yeah. glass. Yeah, but it, what, what's <laughs> funny is we... we <laughs> We, when we had that headquarters, we used to invite like loads of people to work with us. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, and we'd forget where the knob. We forgot was where, like, there's like a knob 
yeah. stuffing in the I toilet remember when like, we'd stuff. have somebody coming over and we'd be like, right, where's the knob? Where Where is the knob? Like, yeah. it'd be in the fucking cupboard door or on the bathroom door or on the toilet or in the fridge. Dude, that thing is It amazing. was fucking everywhere. In the sink once, wasn't it? Like, in the plug hole. It was, in the, it was I'm fucking born in the dark. <laughs> I'm born in the dark. That is so good. Uh, okay. Sweet, sweet um, smell yeah. of all. Let's move on. Let's I, move on. Let's, I, let's keep, go. I keep trying to move this on, but I'm going to say, um, you know, music, films, yeah, TV. The media of Christmas. Yeah. I think it's, um, it's. I mean, I watch a lot of TV. Well, actually, to be honest, I don't really watch a lot of TV anyway, but I watch a lot of films. But um, Christmas time, especially Christmas Day, once you've got the presents out of the way and the dinner, it is literally just sit and watch Christmas TV all day, and mm. especially in England, that's a, that's the thing. You you finish your dinner and you sit I, down. I think we've 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 sort of haven't done that for at least a decade. We used to do really? it when we were younger. Well, I remember Christmas TV when I don't know if it's just because getting old and cynical and you're like you're rubbish. But I remember Christmas TV when I was younger. There used to be really good stuff on, and now mm. it's like. I, I used to watch it, but then then after a while, I, I as I became more. It's of just a, fucking Downton Abbey, Doctor Who, and then s- but, some yeah, other but that, fucking. That's the shite. thing is that I, I I found as I got older I, and I became more of a snob and a bit of an asshole. I I just couldn't watch it anymore because it was beneath me, obviously. <laughs> well, apart from <laughs> apart from obviously the best bit, the Queen's speech. We oh no, you never you ever watch the Queen's wait, speech. Wait, whoa, wait. Ever. Never, not once. Get so don't go get your care. passport and fucking burn it, you piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking immigrant. Oh, what, so I can never leave. <laughs> you, you stupid. No, I've shrew. tried. To, I've tried to. It's just like, Hello, another year gone. You troglodyte. I'm sorry, I can't yeah, fucking. Yeah, you shit. fucking troglodyte. You I can't tro- fucking. You, I can't stand you, it. You, you're a boof head. <laughs> Me and Greg were looking at funny uh, uh, synonyms for idiot. Boof and there's like trog- the troglodyte was funny. But speaking of um um. Christmas TV and stuff and I was thinking maybe moving on to if you've got any Christmas traditions and if you guys have got some Christmas 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 traditions that you always do at home maybe on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve or whatever let us know because I bet some of them are interesting but because Christmas TV is so shit me and my dad spend like all Christmas Day uh, we watch Lauren and Hardy that's because they've got good, like all yeah, the Christmas e- they got the Christmas Ooh. episodes. We put the Christmas episodes on, but then just end up watching all the fucking rest of them. See, Which is yeah. Laurel and Hardy on Christmas. I, I, I find that we we usually not always on Christmas watch the movies, but we usually watch it on the build up to Christmas. Mm. Yeah, especially things like Hook. me and Bethan have been watching loads of Christmas films, but yeah. we, she has well, this thing on Christmas we, we, every Christmas we, Eve. She we watches always a specific watch Hook film because it's not really a Christmas film. But there's something about it that has a Christmas film. I think it. I think it, it brings is, out the magical childlike nostalgia in you, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also because like the start is set in winter, so it's yeah. Like, and, and they go into they go to London for Christmas. Obviously, it's not set on Christmas Day. But... No, but it's snowy, isn't it? Yeah. So. I mean, the snow. That I. I don't think I've ever seen snow, but. No, yeah, we do I get remember the... saying this to my mum once, really saying I don't Christmas. ever remember seeing snow on Christmas. And she said, oh, there was one Christmas when you were about four that it snowed. Oh, I, I, I was like, great. Mom, so. but the rest of the year, it's just it just rains. It just rains every fucking Christmas day here. We it? have had a few sunny Christmases where there's just been no clouds. Yeah, like uh, quite a few times where it's just blue sky. I swear, I don't know if it's because I was thinking about this the other day when I was stood out in my garden. I don't know if it's just because like, there's like nobody out on the roads and everyone's mm. at home. But have you ever like looked outside on Christmas Day? Or like looked out the window or something, and it's so like eerie and cloudy and foggy and man. like it's, it's, it's so crazy. and the skies are red and it's all like it's fucking weird. Do you know what I mean? It's because Jesus is calling out. You're sure you know, just like thinking of the purge. <laughs> yeah, probably. No, but you know <laughs> like, Christmas Day is the purge. Where the police? I don't know. Skies in the morning. I swear, like every time you look out, because like there's nobody on the roads, and like I've had times where on Christmas Day I've had to like drive to Bethan's or something, and there's nobody about, and everywhere's dead, and it's just all like cloudy and silent. It's fucking. It's nice in a weird way, but it's it's fucking weird. Well, so like about a, about no. movies. Oh yeah, yeah we were yeah. talking about f- f- so, films. So yeah, Hook Hook's one of them. Hook's uh, great. You watch um, I, I, I watched I, I watched I watched Die Hard the other day to get into the Christmas spirit. Love that shit, man. Die Hard's one of the best Christmas films. That's a that's a big debate as well. Is Die Hard a Christmas? Yeah, film? yes, it is. Yes, Home it Alone. Is. Home Alone. Is Home Alone. Just... You need to watch one and two. close to Christmas because that is a super Christmas film. Mm. This is one, this is what you were talking about traditions. Um, this is what we did as kids. We would always watch the Mr. Bean Christmas episode. <laughs> still do. Fucking, we, still, we still do, man. It's fucking brilliant. Where he gets the turkey stuck yeah. on his head. It's fucking it's genius. 
Frank Genius. Is Mr. Bean. Is, oh my god. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bean is like probably the most popular thing ever. Yeah. I have never been to a country mention Mr. Bean and they've been like, who? I always say Mr. Bean and they don't even speak English. They're like, oh, 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 oh. why the, why the <laughs> fuck? Do you just go? Up, do you just go up to when we were in Egypt? You just go up to a random dude. You know, Mister Bean. Have you, <laughs> oh, Bean! <laughs> no, but, no, you, you idiot. Today. How is that an idiotic thing? Because obviously it works. So it's smart, you asshole. Well, dude, he... trust me. I was in Egypt. I've been into Egypt like twice. They love the Mister Bean, and I don't. It's them bringing it up to me, if anything. Who, who doesn't? Love I remember Bean. it's related to that and Christmas when I was a kid. Um, when I was about nine or ten. Me and my family went to like Lapland, do all the Christmas stuff, and then, then sort of as we got a bit older, we just went there to Finland to go skiing, proper up in the Arctic Circle and everything. And when I was about, I was about nine, and my brother must have been about five or six, and you do all the Christmas stuff, obviously, and they've got like elves there and shit, and you tell them where you're from. And they go, oh, hello, where are, you, where are you from? And then and you go, oh, England. And they go, oh, Del Boy, Rodney Del Boy, Marlene, ha 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 ha, and you're like. P.S. Yeah. P- P- Mr. Bean and, <laughs> yeah. and don't Bas- forget Basil Mr. Fawlty. Mr. Bean, you fit cunt. Finnish people, mate. They <laughs> They're the best. Them. They are troglodytes, if I've ever seen them. Uh, you you love them, Greg. The <laughs> Finns are what I mean. amazing, That's what I mean, man. though. They are so They're funny. brilliant. Okay. I yeah, love the so Finnish people. I wish that's I was, that's I movies, really, isn't it? Like, what else yeah. is there? Elf. Oh, this is one I love. Elf's, I a, l- good, elf's a good recent one. Yeah. I love... Well, recent. I love this one for Christmas. Uh, Muppets Christmas Carol. Ah oh, man, that is yeah. mine and Bethan's Chris. We've watched that every because me and Bethan always like put Netflix on when we go mm. to bed, and like every night we've had it on. We always fall asleep like right near the start, but it's weird. I'm not getting bored of it, and we have a tradition every year where on Christmas Eve we watch that film. We watch Muppets Greg, Christmas. Greg Carol. thinks I'm the the ghost of Christmas present. Well, I wanted to do yeah. a th- I wanted to yeah, do a yeah, thing yeah. for this. You, 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 love, you got beard, like you got Christmas. ginger beard, you're fat. It's just you have a I wanted to do something oh, for this, oh, but oh. we we didn't. Know um, me better, um, man. Uh, me, <laughs> did I say that already? I, I'm Christmas. That past. is me, though, isn't it? Because you know, no, you're, you're the, the future. The future. Yeah. yeah, Christmas future. Mm. Burn it Graves. But you know, I was <laughs> I was watching that. Wait, the other was day. It, is it Timmy? Is it Timmy? Or Tiny it? Tim. Tiny Tim, man. Tell that, Tiny Tim wait, I won't be coming home this. I Christmas. can't wait to smash that one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Gonna smash his grave. No, I'm gonna. Oh, his grave. I'm gonna... Right. Okay. No, no, his grave. No, no, no. This no, is what you I'm gonna dig oh. up his grave. I'm gonna oh, get his. I'm gonna get his little little wimpy stick, and I'm gonna smash his grave for it. I might have to cut that because I thought you, when you you just said all you said was, "Oh yeah, Tiny Tim. I can't wait to smash him." Nah, it's fine. <laughs> it was, no, it's whoa, fine. Yes, no. I'm not smash up his bones. I mean, if we're talking about Muppets Christmas Carol, he's a frog, so it doesn't matter. But, yeah, bashing frogs is fine. So, um, but yeah, no, I was gonna, I wanted to do because we were trying to come up with some little Christmas skits. Me and Greg might still do one. We might do a, a Christmas duet, mm. possibly. But um, I was thinking like we, I was gonna be um, Ebenezer Googe, and we could have done a little. You two could have been ghosts. We would be there. But it would have been Mar- so. We'd be Marley and Marley. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah, yeah Marley. Like Marley. Whoa. 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 It was like instead of being Marley not liking Marley. Christmas, it was I didn't want to film a Christmas podcast or something. It was like you have to film a Christmas podcast. <laughs> like yeah, every is, 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 yeah, every, that, every yeah. time you put too much effort into something, no one watches it on this channel. No, nah, no one gives a shit. Like Gerg Bush was one of my favorite things. Oh, another thing, uh, still on good. movies. Mm. Yeah, I've never seen. Is it? It's a Wonderful Life. A Wonderful Life. I've you never seen it. You need to watch that. I've I'd... watched it, but... It's maybe, brilliant. Maybe I'm just an it's asshole. It apparently is the Christmas movie. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. I'd never seen it. I watched it for the first time last year. It's amazing. It, it, like... All I'll say about um, It's a Wonderful Life is that you've got Christmas films, obviously, that are like are good for casual watching. Just, ah, oh, sit down, relax. You know, whack home alone on the site. Easy watching. It's a Wonderful Life isn't like an easy watch. It's like... It's it's kind of it gets it, it gets to you a bit. No, it's not that. It just it's long and it it sort of makes you think it gets to you a bit. It's got quite a sort of not a dark top. Well, I suppose it is a dark topic. But why don't um, I, 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 are there any more Christmas I films you guys? I don't really about? like Wonderful. No, though. I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's just I'm an asshole, but I just didn't resonate with it. I, I watched it and I was just sort of like, 
It's like how it's quite obvious that your life was already pretty decent. You've just been an asshole the whole movie. No, I, I get it. No, I, I, don't I get know. it. I don't he's know. like depressed because he wants to go and pursue his own things, and like before he knows it, his life's over, and he hasn't done anything he wanted, and his yeah, work goes like, to shit. Then that's it, every it life, miserable. isn't it? Yeah, that's that's just life. <laughs> it should just be called it, it's, it's life that, it should just be called yeah I, I recognise that I am a normal person don't listen to the cunt just watch the film it's I cool. will watch it but um, uh, yeah are there any more Christmas films you want to talk about um, or should we go on to something else I think we should go on to music music Greg's top <sighs> I think that says it all about what his favourite Christmas song uh, is Last Christmas is the best song ever made um, best song ever made, not even the best Christmas song. Best Christmas song, best song ever made. And I'll give you a few reasons why. Number one is tragedy. It's about a man who's had his heart torn out, but now he's realised that he's not going to give his heart to that bitch anymore. He's going to find himself a new What bitch. about the Pogues? That's a that's a tragedy. Yeah, but it's also... Like, There's loads of tragedy some, Christmas some songs. Stupid ass. Yeah, but it, George Michael, okay? George Michael lived tragedy, okay? He's dead, Okay. <laughs> Are the Pogues still alive? Probably. I don't know. No, Dude, the, singer Kirst, from the... Kirst, the female singer is. Yeah, but the way I see it is that, like, okay, George Michael had a tragical life, because tragic, tragic life, because, you know, he, he gets all successful and everyone starts going, ha ha, you gay and stuff like that, and it, that gets to his core, and, and then all of these, like, scandals come out, and it's just like, he didn't do anything wrong. Um, okay, he put his, his, his penis in Didn't like, he a, notoriously a glory drink hole. drive a lot when he crashed into that snappy snap? That's Ant, isn't it? <laughs> they all fucking Wait, do I, it don't Ant they? got decked You know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> That's De- a cracker joke and half Isn't it Deck the fucking hole. That's what we should do You're talking about merch We should have done Three Skins Crackers With our own Greg's written jokes inside If you want to mortify Your family at Christmas I, I, I just think I just think I, I sang about that song That It just beats Any other Christmas song I don't know what it is I honestly I could probably sit there And think about it For a uh, a year and I'm still What's your favourite Christmas song? I want to say about the Pogues thing, yeah. I like the song and I like the video, but the guy singer looks like he has a mouth full of blackjack sweets. Yeah, he's he's fucked. He's like, also, they do say a word in that. That That's pretty bad. Oh, it's Christmas. Uh, Yeah, he's fucked. But I I do like the song. What's your favourite Christmas (laughs) song? My favourite Christmas song is probably Queen's one. I don't know. Thank God it's Christmas. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Every day. But then there's like, you know, like Slade and Wizard. Mm. Oh, oh, hey, really? Yeah, Wizard's always good. I'll do uh, they just look cool. They're, mate, when, when I first saw it's it, good, I was isn't like, because that song, I'm always, always just like, yeah, it's just one of those average Christmas songs. Then I saw them and I was just like. You hadn't seen the music video? Oh, mate, yeah. It's just I don't know incredible. what my favourite one is. There's, um,. There's a lot of good Christmas songs. Jonah Louie and um, Stop the Cavalry. That's good. And then He's from Southampton. Is he? Mm. Good lad. Well, not really. Wait, uh, I was about to say, Southampton's a Oh, Stop the Cavalry. And, then, and he, no, he, he sung as well. He only did about two popular songs. He did Stop the Cavalry and he uh, did um, You Will Always Find Him in the Kitchen at Parties. That one. That's Jonah Louie. Yeah, that fucking household... That's a well-known song. They're the only two I, songs I've anyone knows I've genuinely, before. I've genuinely never, never listened to that. Greg, do you need to drink up your wine, mate? We're about halfway through and you're... No, uh, yeah, no, there's lots of Christmas drink. songs. And there's lots of Christmas songs by artists or bands I don't necessarily like, but I like the Christmas song. Like I like um The Darkness. No, don't let the bells down. But I, I've never once sat and listened to The Darkness, ever. But I think Christmas I had my first songs. kiss to... Uh, Darkness cover band. Probably had a, <laughs> Darkness pro- cover probably band. Probably had a few kisses. Well, they like called them to that. The mildness snap. or something. Uh, the bleakness. <laughs> down. The opaque. Down. down. <laughs> the opaques. Um, I, yeah. No. Another song I'd say is. Uh, and I said. Uh, oh. I don't know. I know what you're talking about. I'm just thinking Christopher. of all these Christmas songs. Christ and, and Berg. All I can think is. Christ. De Berg. Like, uh, like okay, like they're decent, but they're not George Michael. Oh, yes, I do up. like George Michael. I tell you what, if if anyone out there, wants I to, like George. If Michael. anyone out there doesn't like George Michael, go on YouTube right now and watch him sing. Curse Whisper. No, he sings one of my favorite. I think my favorite Mercury's uh, like death grave. Great, great. No, they they do like so, a. Um, a gig after he passes away. Yeah, like a away. tribute gig. And George Michael sings a song in that, and it's brilliant. Mm. 
Yeah, they yeah. do that. Do that because George Michael is the man. One of my favourite songs of George Michael's and possibly one of my favourite songs ever is Club Tropicana. Mm. That's, that song's fucking amazing. It's the catchiest thing in the world. Club Tropicana drinks are free. Oh. What? Oh, what well, well, I'm sunshine, just... Right. There's enough for everyone. It's Christmas. We're talking if about Christmas. If you're still watching, t- type George Michael in the comments. George Michael. Yeah, I'm not sure what my favourite Christmas song is. Um, I like Paul McCartney and Wings. You know, simply having a wonderful Christmas time. And I also like Paul McCartney's Pipes of Peace. I'll tell you one thing That's that a good I, I realise listening to Paul McCartney's solo material after the Beatles is... You know when, they, like, because when uh, John Lennon or Paul McCartney ever wrote a song, they'd have to put both their names in it because of some stupid contract. Tell you what, Lennon was writing the good ones. <laughs> you see, so, that's, that's what I mean. It's all about though. Ringo. That's another one. Like, that's, <laughs> I listen to Christmas music. Oh, listen to Christmas music by artists that I wouldn't, like, I've never sat and listened to Paul McCartney solo stuff. Yes. I listen to a lot of Beatles, yeah, but that those two Christmas songs. I love it. Let die Pipes of pi- Pipes of Peace is brilliant. Um, yeah, I guess that's music. But Have you got any really... least favorite Christmas songs? Ones that drive you nuts? Uh, pretty much everything. Santa that... Baby. Oh, like Kylie Minogue. Well, 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 any well, version well, of that is just trash. Well, or uh, Mariah Carey's one. I don't really like. Yeah, no, I think that's because it's the most overplayed one. All I want for Christmas. Yeah, Easy. I don't. I, I really know you knew that. That, that yeah, one's annoying. If if I'm not honest, like, but I think it's a good song. I think it's just because it's the most overplayed Christmas song. It drives everyone fucking no, I, nuts. No, the thing is that I think all of the songs that aren't Last Christmas by mm. Wham, are just, just they're just they're just they're not as good and therefore a bit annoying. And <laughs> I don't like um. Michael Bublé pisses me off. I oh, fucking because that man Bublé. fucking hibernates. He made like one Christmas album. He's like a household name, and he just like ruins all these. The like, only reason anyone proper... knows his name is because boob. Yeah, mm. <laughs> it's like it's you ta- you're typing in boob on Google, day, and it comes up with Michael Bublé. You can't... <sighs> at the end of the day, he's a pompous fuck, isn't he? Because his name is Michael Bubble. It's Bubble. <laughs> It's it's Bublé. <laughs> it's Bubble. Oh, you fucking yeah. Imagine dick. being like his teacher back in school. It's like Michael Bubble. Yeah. It's Bublé. It's Bublé. <laughs> it's Bubble. And you jumped up, little. Ah, fucking... oh, yeah. No, and I hate it because I'll like I'll I'll like be cooking dinner or something or oh I'll be cooking dinner or something and I'll like whack a Christmas playlist on and like start a Frank Sinatra come and be like oh yes and then it's fucking Michael Boot and you're like shut up. I, Michael Bublé Here we go. That was, fucks that, me that right That was off. the first Rat 101. Yeah, Michael <laughs> Bublé, you're going in Rat 101. <laughs> okay. I fucking hate that, man. Okay. Hey, let's move on from music. Yeah. Um, so we've done music. We've done movies. Christmas specials? Oh, really what? Of watched? like programs? Yeah. Watched, All watched. the Royal Family Christmas specials. Pretty good. Royal, Royal Family is one of the Ooh, best British made telly shows ever. Always sunny Christmas special. And there's one thing in the always oh, when he bites his neck. There's, yeah, he bites down his neck. But there's one thing in that. Did you fuck my mom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's, there's one thing in that that uh, actually started a tradition amongst my friends. But well, a tradition we did it once, and and it kind of thought it was a bit some stupid. tradition we did it That's once. Not a tradition, is it? <laughs> oh no, we, we're gonna make it a That's tradition. Just, but we, <laughs> we, it's not a tradition. We, no, we, if you, Greg, if you do it once, okay, it's just like okay. a moment there's, in time. It's a failed tradition. Okay, yeah, it's a failed tradition. Uh, is, it's a trebinge. Is, is throwing stones at, cut, uh, at trains? <laughs> yeah. You're an asshole. Yeah. No, we, didn't, <laughs> we didn't do it because we were driving to go do it, and we like on the way we were just like, "Why are we doing this?" It's like, uh, like because because in the in the always sunny they're doing that like you know like yeah. they're doing the, it like freight trains. Yeah, and we don't. <laughs> I, I, can't, I don't think I've ever seen a fucking freight train. <laughs> So we were there and we were just like, what if we crack a window or something? That's like really <laughs> bad. Hell. So yeah, we decided not to. Good. Do, so. Good. Good. Yeah, you monster. That's not That's not. Monster. If you were ever hit by a rock on a train on Christmas Day and Greg's lying, we know you did not You did go through with it. You report so. me to anyone. You'll be driving down the goddamn motorway and a rock's going to hit oh that car. God. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Going to get you. <laughs> I'm trying to think of more Christmas specials. Um, yeah, I like all the Royal Family. I think I can't believe I didn't bring that up in TV shows. I think Royal Family is one of the best British made. My TV. ass! I yeah. never really, really watched it. It's but it's good. just how yeah. accurate they got. 
like a British household in mm. like the late nineties, early two thousands. It's fucking spot on. It's oh, it doesn't remind just me of guys my just house. sat around the telly. That your da- the dad sat there. He ain't changed his shirt. It doesn't remind week, me of going around some of my mates' houses. Oh, it's it's that. so it's oh the Royal F- and the Christmas specials are, are brilliant. Just you know crazy about Royal Family when they because they cooked the roast turkey in the bath one year because the oven didn't done so they bo- they put boiled water in <laughs> and they boiled the water in the bath and they put the fucking turkey in the bath to defrost it. No, that's it. Yeah, they got to defrost it. They defrost it in the bath. Christmas. And I think he gets. He, I think he says like. Oh, save me the water for afterwards or something. It's fucking brilliant. Oh, God. I'm trying to think of some other Christmas TV specials, though. I like Royal Family because it's, like, so concise, like, all in one spot. Yeah, it's it's, they, it's brilliant. Really it's, good. like, filmed yeah. from the position of the TV yeah. that they're all watching. I didn't watch enough to comment. All the <laughs> Simpsons Christmas specials are like. Lush. I remember when I was a kid, mm. I had, like... I Mr. Think... Hasn't Watched Any Christmas. No, when I was and a... It, when, I was a when I was a kid, I used to watch loads of Simpsons. Um, and then it was, like, as the movie came out and I got a bit older, I was just like, meh. Is your but... favourite one the one you're in? Anyone with Mr. Burns. Yeah, I mean, Lewis was in quite No, a lot. my favourite when I was younger was Mr. Plow. Go, oh, Mr. Plow. That's my name. That name yeah, again good. is Mr. Mr. Plow. Call uh, 599 Hey, guys, if you're watching this and you haven't watched the video that me and Greg did where it was like f- fans' favourite moments, there is a fantastic part in it I haven't with seen this it man yet. here. Well, you're not going to see it until no. it goes live. Oh. Well, yeah, because it hasn't... It hasn't gone live um, as we're filming right are now, you, but it should be up before you, this goes up. I don't think you're going to be annoyed because it's not bad. Well, I can't do it, anything about it. It's nice. Like it's nice. What we've done yeah, is, is like, nice I imagine, in our way. I imagine like a shout out in a video, you would want it to be like epic. Like, here's Lewis. Oh, no, yeah. Go no, follow no. his Instagram. He's the coolest dude on the planet. I'll put your Instagram in there if you want. No, you don't bother. It's I good. don't care. Well, the thing is, is that you're like, oh, you don't know. I know you guys by now to know it's going to be some gimpy, fucking weird, odd thing. It's So it's whatever. Funny. Like, it's fun. Um, like, it made me. The thing is, is that I made it thinking about myself. I made it thinking. Well, what? No, what? Yeah. How, could no I, how could oh, I? How could I? Was there a George Michael? It's superimposed on my face. Then. No, no we need to that's all you to seem bottom. to think about. Go, go to Lewis's Instagram and say, "Right, rat boy." <laughs> rat boy. Follow us all on Instagram, by the way. Yes, mm. links are in the description, and um, they should have come up at the start of the video. Or yeah. if you are watch, if you are listening to this on any other platforms other than YouTube, then hello. Sorry, we went to the effort to dress up all Christmassy, and you can't see it. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. Well, we didn't put for any effort. I'm literally just wearing some fucking. Well, at the current, uh, currently, as we're filming, this is not on any other platforms. Yeah. it is on. It's um just on YouTube at the moment, but in down the pipeline, we are hoping to get this on I, other platforms. I have and, already sent off everything that I need to my YouTube network to sort it out for me. So it, yes, it has been sent. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's been done. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. It's not. It's fine. It's not getting negative shit. yet. It is Christmas after all. Why? All I care about is Christmas. Let's drink. You have to drink that in one, Greg. Go. It's quite shit wine. Yeah, I know. I bo- this, this was the five pound stuff. Wasn't <laughs> it's it? the five pound. I fucking shit. thought so, mate. Drink it. I was looking at it because I was looking there literally yesterday. I was like looking at wines. And I saw that one, and I was like, nah, I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get a six pound one. I, like <laughs> oh, no, I can't drink a five pound one. I have a six quid one. Though. I was going to get you some Lambrini. Oh, there we go. Hello, oh, Greggy. Oh, you, just, you drink you wine just, like that. You just spat that back out in there and drank it again. Are we going to have another hurling it, mate, Christmas? It, it's going from to my mouth to my spit anyway, you fucking ding dong. <laughs> All right, then. Dong. Spit in your hand and lick it. Okay. What the fuck are we doing? Sorry, it's everyone. It's just been in your mouth. I, I know, I know, I know. Right, is there any other Christmassy stuff you guys want to talk about? Oh, mate, so much stuff. Because um, I don't know what features we're doing at the end of this. How is there about, a Gurgs I, 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 I've got a Gurgs and, cool. and it's going to be on the original Christmas and yes. stuff. So. Oh, right, nice. But, so technically, you're... Who's a famous historian? You what? Uh, who's a famous no, historian? In all fairness, Carl Sagan, during... The Cosmos uh, things does a lot of history segments. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Christmas. 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 Merry Christmas. What do you guys think about, you know, decorations and 
I I think does it make you feel Christmas season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like walking I, down yeah. the street. One, one of the yeah. things I've found uh, since I was a kid is that I sort of feel like people don't get into it as much as they used to. I I don't notice as much lights and stuff like that as I did when I was a kid. I feel like people are just sort of a bit like. I don't know if it's just because the economy's bad or something, or because people are just getting cheaper. But people are just like, uh, lights. Yeah, we, we never really had a neighbourhood that had that. I mean... No. We, we... Because even our family, when we were kids, like, it was just basic lights outside the front. But now that I'm older, I'm, I'm like, oh, I want to go spend loads of money on crazy lights and stuff. But then I think about it, I'm like... Eh, it's just... I understand why people don't bother. It's sort of just a bit... No, it's a bit... speaking of that and traditions, me and my family, someone in December will normally always have a day trip to London because like you go down like it's, Oxford yeah, Street and all that it, yeah. and they do it all up and it's like I that love, gets you in the Christmassy mood. I love London in Christmas yeah. time. Mm. I've only just did Winter Wonderland very recently as well and it's kind of good and it's a bit sort of like there's half of it that's really good and it's all like they, they do like a German village. And it's like a German bar thing and like mm. log cabins and all. And it's like, oh, that's cool. And then you walk around, and it's just like a fairground. And you're like, all right, all right. But then I remember... Yeah, about Winchester? No, um, Winter Wonderland in London. It's in oh. Hyde Park. But we, we went similar. and um, there, was a, there was a merry-go-round bar. And you used to stand on it and you would That's just, not good. You were Talk just, about spin out. Yeah, you, but they were like the horses. Like It would go like, it was going like super slow. But there was like horses and they had tables on them where you would not sit normally. It was really cool. Dude, after and you about stand five at a bar pints, and it was spinning. That would freak like, me out. Uh, like, yeah. yeah. But it was really good though. It's starting to spin. But no, starting to spin. Yeah. Spin the other way. That's another thing I do. Like to decorations. We always we go to loads of Christmas markets. It was either... Because me and Beth have been together two years now. It must have been Christmas Is before last. Two years? Yeah, but we've I known each other for more three. Than that. I swear it's been more than that. No. Um, but this, this will be our third Christmas because we got together just before oh, Christmas. Okay. Yeah. Two years more like... Too long. I think it was. I think it was our first. I think it was our first Christmas together. We like. We were like. Um, we we tried to tick off like um, all the local Christmas markets. We tried to do all of them. We did like Southampton. We did Portsmouth. We did Winchester. That's like Basingstoke. Uh, um. Oh, we did Bournemouth as well. Uh, either. Bournemouth or Winchester. I, I like Winchester. The Winchester is Winchester. brilliant, but it's just so packed. Because mm. obviously it's like a tourist spot. Yeah, Winchester. I went there the other day and they were queuing to get into the yeah. market. Yeah. Like outside the cathedral, like a mile down the road. I was like, fucking I, hell. Yeah, Winchester's one of those cities that Winchester's like, beautiful. is incredible. We're actually running mm. out of battery at the moment, kind of. So, oh, uh, are we? What, should we do... I hope everyone has a fantastic Christmas. Yes. Yeah, we well, hope you have a great Christmas. Uh, Christmas is great. Please let us know your Christmas traditions, no. your favorite Christmas music, and, then, and what your what uh, you get for yeah. Christmas. I mean, I, I need a hundred likes. I need I need to I need to add this in because wow. uh, I've been forced to by Twitter. Uh, I I hope that uh, it, Jesus gives you presents, Santa gives you presents, uh, Buddha gives you presents. I hope that Muhammad gives you presents. I hope that. Hin, uh, Shivo or some shit gives you presents. You're doing well. You've done about uh, four of the 270 gods. Zeus. Keep going. Uh, Zeus gives yeah. you presents. Apollo. <laughs> Apollo gives you presents. Apollo's like a speedy motherfucker. So he, he, get, he's, he get all he's the presents. He's a good Santa. Santa. Who's, the, who's the tubby one? Buddha. Oh, Buddha yeah, gives I, you... I'm pretty sure I did Buddha. But like, oh, right. uh, there's Who's the elephant t- one? Ganesh. T- t- uh, like like uh, Tindahoshifika or something. You know, some South American shit. Uh, I hope you get all, all right. your presents from your respective gods, and if you don't, then... Uh... Is he this drunk already? I'm not drunk! He has had about three glasses of wine. Drink up. <laughs> he, he gives me <laughs> shit. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> drink up. Honestly, have a fantastic Christmas. Yeah. Yes. Um, and if you don't, then... Eh. I don't understand people who don't like Christmas, because oh. most people get Christmas Day off. Mm. You yeah, might have to true. spend it with your family, but everyone just gets smashed. Yes. See, I've never done that in my house. We've never done that. I didn't really realise drinking was a thing at Christmas until I started seeing other people's Christmas traditions. To be fair, we that wasn't a big thing in our household. Don't ever have a drop of alcohol until we None started drinking, and then I think like we corrupted our parents when we were teenagers. Our teen, our, our parents didn't really drink. Like our dad would have a cider every now and then, and then we started drinking. And our parents were just like, oh, well. 
maybe I'll have an extra drink. <laughs> and the next thing you know, they're getting pissed. Everyone's We're like all slush. getting pissed. Oh, that queen looks like a mug. <laughs> Is that a fucking wig, you fucking... What? She's not a queen isn't wearing a wig. She might. <laughs> you know how old oh, that bitch... You know, you know how old people. that bitch is? She's like 600,000, man. She's wearing a wig. she got a very fancy <laughs> hairdo. 600,000. And she has a special butler who shaves her chin and moustache as well. Mm, that would be nice. Mm. Uh, I saw a woman with a beard in Winchester once. That is Winchester all over. I was working in Winchester, Winchester with my dad like crazy. five years ago, and this I thought it was a man walking past, and it was it was just a woman with a big no, dude, chin, and it like, was covered if in I, stubble. If I'm I was honest, like, I've been to a lot of parts of England, and Winchester is one of the wackiest parts. It's so it's, wacky. it's a lovely place, isn't it? Yeah, but there but are some kooky people about. That's but what I, I like about that, it. It's I mean, kind of like anywhere. It's a really, character. It's endearing. Yeah, it, gives, it, gives it a is. That's the word. Right, so thank you very much, everybody. That was our Christmas topic. Now, I believe, we're going to go on to Fat Facts, a very special Christmas Fat Facts that Matt is definitely looked up and is not just researching right now. And then we're going to have Gerg Sagan, who's going to talk about the um, the origins of Christmas. So, amazing. Let's get into Fat Facts. <laughs> Roll clip. Welcome to Fat Facts. <laughs> We wish you a Merry Christmas was originally a fret. What? Oh, what, like, like, like... Silly. And a Happy New Year! Yeah. What, 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 was it like during the like, the Crusades? It, they would go up to, like, the people that fight and be like, we wish you a Merry Christmas. It's like, but we don't believe in Christmas. It's like, yeah... No, yet, was it like yet? Was it like <laughs> you know, you know, like the mafia have like will. special phrases and sentences yeah. when they want someone whacked? Is it like in the like during the Crusades? If they'd be like, uh, oh, mm-hmm. they'd be in a big, Christmas or something. They'd be they'd be in like a big um sort of room, like in um you know like Monty Python's Holy Grail, like Camelot. They'd all be sat around drinking, and then they and one of them would go, "Have a merry Christmas," and nod at the other ones, and the other ones would go, and then they'd fucking chop his head off afterwards or something. It's not that merry, is it? <laughs> Yeah, but is he right? Uh, that, that's what we want to know. Yeah, Merry and Pippin. Anyway, so it says, uh, The ever-popular song was originally sung loudly and repeatedly by crowds of rowdy, lower-class servants demanding booze from their masters. Or else! That... Oh, man, I, I always... So like Les Mis I, at Christmas. I like. always love it when, when the working man rises up. <laughs> Billy Elliot. <laughs> 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 exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the fat fact. Fat yeah, fact. That's a good right. fact. That's a good one. That was a good yeah, one. Thank you very one. much. And good, now good we're ones. yeah, that was good. And really? now yeah. Well, you went into depth with that a bit more. It was quite good. Yeah, the other it, ones you didn't really have a lot to say. It wasn't Granted, just. There wasn't it wasn't much just to say. like fat. <laughs> fat <laughs> fact. <laughs> fat fact. Fat exists. <laughs> How uh, restricted would it be if we told you you could only have facts about fat? fat? <laughs> well, I did the uh, the elephant. There's a lot yeah, of elephant facts. There's a lot of facts do. relating to fat. To be what honest, was the elephant one? Most of them were heart disease. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. The elephant, one <laughs> <laughs> the elephant one where it's like the mosquitoes. Oh <laughs> yeah, they crack the mosquitoes and guys in folds. Now we get on to Gerg Sagan, Christmas. Who's going to talk tradition. about the origins of Christmas? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Roll clip. Me. Uh, science. Biology. I have. Physics. Chemistry. Biology. Dinosaurs. Physics. I whatever I'm gonna, happens I'm gonna... from like now on, I have nothing to do with. I'm going to pour a good glass of wine so I can get through this. All right, okay. I'm going to have a little disclaimer before Gerg Sagan starts. Um, There may be a lot of cuts in this podcast because um, Gerg Sagan has had a couple of drinks and he's said a couple of things. But I'm pulling no punches. Me and and Matt, he's about to talk about the origins of Christmas, so Mm. there's got to be religion involved. Me and Matt, I would like to quote, Lewis and Matthew of the Three Skins have no part in... Gerg Sagan whatsoever. These are not the views of Matt and Lewis or the Three Skins podcast. They are the views of Gerg Sagan himself. I, Gerg I, Sagan, I, I, say a bit. 
I accept your abdication from responsibility. And may the ghost of Christmas present about to have fucking say. mercy so on your soul. So, obviously, um, you know, about six billion years ago, the solar system... No, about four... Are four we point, starting that early? 4.5 billion years ago, the solar system formed. And a few, you know, 100 million years after that, uh, abiogenesis, which is... Uh, yeah, uh, form you from... keep talking about this at the moment. Yeah. God let, damn. Me, let me keep going on. I was, I'm doing my research, that's why. Uh, yeah, so chemical evolution led to biology, and biology eventually, uh, you know, uh, led to eukaryotes probably about 2.5 billion years ago, and eukaryotes eventually evolved multicellularity I don't, I don't know what in about, about six or seven different uh, occasions. Uh if you um, have any idea about 700 what... million years ago in the Ediacarian period, if you have uh, any idea what Sagan is talking about, please write to uh, really come alive and allowed the ev- please evolution. Please don't tell me. The, the evolution Christmas came from like atoms. No, the evolution <laughs> of advanced <laughs> metazoan life, and <laughs> obviously. That eventually one of them became a fish. Fish turned into. Why are you fish doing the theory into, of let evolution? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get to where I'm going. The fish, obviously, one had the fins that turned into little lobby fins, which turned into legs. They started walking on land and laying eggs on land, fucking. But then one of them started having eggs in their fucking stomach. That's a mammal. Boom! They started giving babies. Can you if one of them had like eggs. Yeah, they, they, they. <laughs> they That'd be funny. Interject. Yeah, it's fine. Um, Go on, Greg. Yeah, yeah, okay. Carry so, on so, the okay. theory of evolution. No, 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 let, let, me, let me get here. So this is a Christmas special, so it's got to be special. So from there on, uh, we hid away from the dinosaurs until about 65 million years ago. Oh, we Asteroid, Fuck asteroid fucks them up. We uh, did. Yeah, well, our ancestors. If you meet a friend in the pub... And he says, how did you get here, Greg, tonight? Do you start from the theory of evolution? Or do you just you say, I've got hear, a cab? You need to hear this. Whoa. I the full story. Okay, so, okay, keep going. Fucking okay, hell. Okay, so we, we, we get... <laughs> we, it's all right, Greg. We've got no, 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 no. Okay, so, so obviously, hiding away from the dinosaurs, we were little rat things. Uh, like, we still got well, hair. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, one of these eventually becomes arboreal, which means in the trees. Uh, they grow... This thing called opposable thumb to hang in the trees and swing in the trees. Eventually, the forests that they used to use uh, gave way to plains, and they evolved bipedalism to be able to, you know, walk on the plains. And they evolved persistence hunting, which allowed their uh, intelligence to grow. Uh, as they learned to cook food, it meant they used less energy I'm gonna on their out. stomach I'm and their jaws. Him. I can't take it. Let, let, let me finish. I'm just gonna go for a piss. Carry okay. on. <sighs> well, Matt's gone for a piss. I'm going to carry on. Oh, fuck. Less Don't leave their, me here. Less energy on their jaws and their gut, uh, which allowed them to grow bigger brains. Uh, as they grew bigger brains, uh, Homo sapiens evolved about 200,000 years ago. Maybe earlier than that. Uh, 200,000 years ago, uh, it wasn't until about 160,000 years later, 40,000 years ago, that behavioral modernity uh, happened. Uh, when humans went from... <laughs> Basic tool usage and fire use to actually ask. Oh, to, shut come up! On, come, on, come on, Oh, uh, to, to creative things, and they start understand. Start looking at the stars and wondering why they were there, and that's where we begin. That's the start of it all. Because around that time, we started noticing patterns in the sky. Because from then on, we could contemplate. Are uh, we starting Christmas now? Is this Christmas? Yeah, is this is Christmas now. Fucking hell. So we started yeah. contemplating why the stars are the way they are. We didn't know, because obviously we, we were, you know, stupid-ass apes living on planes. Um, so we one thing we noticed is when it was coldest, uh, we had longer days. No, not longer days, shorter days. He's finally gone to Christmas, it's happened. And Matt is back in the building, everybody. And, and, and well, that was a good piss. Once humans realised uh, this... He's talking about stars especially, or something. Especially when, once we moved to Europe in the f- smell good. about 40,000 years ago... What we uh Cologne? Duke. And we, and we had... Red Duke. And we sort of had to live in like a Do cold environment. Do you want a cup of tea or coffee? Or and we had... I get a cup of tea or coffee. Oh, uh, no, I'm all right, man. And we, had, we lived in a cold environment. Like, the idea of winter became a lot more important to us. Because, think about it, like, 
to a, you know to forty thousand years ago, your ancestors. So someone's watched Zeitgeist. You could order a pizza. Now. No, no, this is nothing to do with Zeitgeist. Um, you could order a pizza if you want. Uh, so yeah, so in India, in yeah. Europe, they're getting used to constant mm. cold weather. He's still going. Um, so they have to invent festivals Pop-a-doms, to Pop-a-doms, sort of. Pop would be sweet. Well, fest- festivals were invented to commemorate Alex, certain. Alex Air is important. Curry, yeah? and if you think about it, the the, the you know the longest yeah, night of the year of the is going like that, to be a festival like important. Oh, and good in it's Europe, tasty. obviously December twenty first is the, the, the time yeah. when it's fucking you know, sweet, man. night is longest. With, uh, the winter I've, equinox, I've so to speak. And from then on, the humans started commemorating this with festivals. And also, festivals are great around winter because if you stockpile food for the worst time, you know, Christmas. (laughs) Should I call them up right now? And to hunt, because obviously, without daylight, humans aren't (laughs) made for night. Domino's number. So it it works. Anyway, so what happens is you go. You, let's go. You let's, then we fast forward thirty thousand um, years. Yeah, she maybe she maybe we'll to to for Europe, yeah, we'll maybe not thirty thousand years. Get, maybe you know, we'll just go to Asda. Thirty. Mm, thirty I better put these back on. Thirty-two thousand years. Is he ago. still going? So that's six thousand years before present. So if you, if you about, haven't yet, guys, oh, just fuck. Uh, you can change the playback speed. Yeah, no, oh, no, no, yeah. I, I, because I, you guys are talking. I thought you said you got on to Christmas. You started talking about stars. I thought you were going to start talking about following stars and stuff. Right, okay, so winter festivals, okay, originate uh, right, around about the the when the Neolithic Revolution oh, when we that. first develop pl- like like farming. Okay, that's when human society start growing and festivals become incredibly important, especially when farming is no longer that much of a use in winter. Okay, so we, we invent these festivals so that we can stop our food to eat food around these festivals, especially around December 23rd when the winter equinox, equinox the happens. This is how things like Yule and, uh, you know, start there. developing. We watch Herc. Oh, we, we said Herc. Yule. Fucking hell, yeah, it was a so Christmas Yeah, so that's word. when things like Yule, our Germanic forefathers uh, invented things like Yule. Uh, so what happened is, obviously, I wish Jesus... Yule stopped. I'm going to... I'll fucking... Oh, Greg! Oh, yeah, that's God. what I thought. Um, anyway. Oh, you're going to have to cut that bit out. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll bleep it. You anyway. Idiot. Fucking. So, anyway, the Yule uh, was invented by. Well, we don't even know when it was invented. We know that people celebrated it before uh, Rome conquered the Germanic tribes. You've nearly been talking for 15 minutes. Yeah, but you keep Why talking didn't over you just me. tell the nativity fucking why, thing? Why, why didn't you not, start from here? That's not where Christmas comes from. Why didn't you yeah, start didn't you from start where here? you are right why now? Why did I have to learn about fucking fish people? Because I, I don't say any fish people. Anyway, okay. So, and then 2,000 years ago, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, we don't know if he's real, he probably was, um, creates a religion, uh, an offshoot of Judaism, uh, saying he's the Messiah. Uh, he gets crucified by Pontius Pilate, um, and <laughs> obviously Christians. A, a new religion called Christianity uh, revolves around it, uh, and they celebrate. Obviously, the nativity came about maybe a hundred years after his death. The idea that Jesus was a born of a virgin mother, and that you know, this you know, essentially that he was born. On December twenty fifth, and, and the, the the thing is, is that there's no real indication in the Bible or in any historical resources, even up to maybe f- like the three hundred AD or so, that this to, even happened. Like, like the issue out. with this is that uh, hmm? is that the Roman Empire <laughs> celebrated a form of Yule. Not Yule itself, but they celebrated a winter festival on December 25th. You lose all our viewers. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> when will Yule If they don't want to learn about facts, they're more welcome. Go to on you. then, yeah, let's get it done. So, okay. Yeah. So, the, what the Romans did is they instigated this idea that Jesus' birthday was around this time when we have winter festivals. And that's because if you're celebrating the birth of like an important figure, around one of the most important festivals, people are going to start being like, holy shit, that's some pretty cool shit. 
I want to get in. <laughs> Christianity grows. Next thing you know, everyone's celebrating this shit. Everyone's celebrating... But the Christmas that we know today, that didn't even start to like the 1900s, like the early 1900s. Like people get this like Christmas shit and they're like... Well, no, maybe the 1800s because that we Charles Dickens that, motherfucker. That wine again. Well, so no, Charles no, Dickens, no he, he, he's just like, you know, he got all this like Christmas stuff and, and it's just like, well, how can we commercialise it? I've got to edit all of this. You have to remember that... Oh, just... Fucking talk about Christmas. Come Capitalism on. as we know it didn't even evolve until <coughs> you know the late 1700s, early 1800s, as we went from mercantilism, uh, which obviously feudalism went to mercantilism, and mercantilism went into capitalism, and obviously like all the communists think that you know it's going to go to communism, but probably not. But who knows? We never, we'll see. But anyway, uh, getting from there, as capitalism evolved from mercantilism and the state started having. <laughs> full control of industry people found a way to make profit obviously from other people that's how Christmas eventually evolved you hit the 1900s you can start getting your coca cola adverts you start getting all your crazy ass stuff you start getting Santa and this little red motherfucking coat and shit and capitalism essentially over like controls uh, like controls the idea of Christmas but then and by then it's no longer this you know festival that Christians stole obviously, not just from the Romans, but from the Germans. Um, and it becomes a commercial thing. So the thing is, is that Christmas as we know it today has three main fe- like features to it. The pre-Christian features of a winter festival, the Christian features of the birth of Jesus Christ, uh, Christ yeah, the Messiah. No uh, you know, this. might not be, you can be Christian, you may not be, who gives a shit, I don't give a fuck. Uh, and, then number, and then number one, the commercialism, the capitalism that created the Christmas we have today. Look at this motherfucker right here. You think that Jesus Christ, you know, if he came back because he's real or some shit, and he looked at this motherfucker and he was just like, oh shit, you celebrated my birthday. He's not going to look at this motherfucker and be like that. He's going to look at this shit. He's going to be like, what's this? Because that is not what Chris... That's, is he Jack you know Skellington? I mean? This what? is conjecture because you're talking about the opinions of Jesus Christ. No, it's not conjecture. Resurrected because today. Because my point is... This is a waste of electricity. This. <laughs> my point is, is that there is no... The idea of Christmas is so diverse that it can be whatever you want it to be. And that's why I give you this holiday season. I don't care what religion you are. You can be some goddamn yeah. Scientology motherfucker drinking wine. You're drinking with me. It's all good. We'll have a good time. Merry Christmas. I hope that you have a good Christmas. I hope that you have a good winter festival, a good Jesus Christ day, or a good day to fucking buy, get people to buy you presents because that's that's what we all really care about. And that's why Christmas is good. Buy me presents. Have a good day. Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's good. I would have got that through maybe 10 minutes ago if you guys didn't keep interrupting. That's bullshit. Fuck. That's good. Yeah. I, Dude, you could have, like... I learned a lot there. Like, a lot. Number one being, you're never drinking alcohol on this podcast mm, ever again. Well, I, I said to Matt before before <laughs> this podcast that me drinking on podcast was a bad idea. But he, he, he insisted, so... Where is the Christmas podcast? <laughs> yeah, Christmas. drink up. Greggy, it don't matter. Thank you very much, Gerg Sagan, for that. I, you can give it to me, and so... I, I could cut it down into an actual. It's cool. I'll, 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 I'll sort a it. Reasonable. Fuck me. Um. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to cut a lot of that down, but if if I haven't and you've just listened to that, I, I hope you learned anyone. something. I, did I offend anyone? If I, I did cut it, if I have ended up cutting it down, it was really short, and you're like, "What are you talking about?" Greg just spoke there for about twenty fucking five minutes, and I on the origins of Christmas started at evolution and us being in the water well it, I, it was you, mad you can give me shit about this but at least i didn't put it all the way back to the big bang i could you start really the big bang. well I, wait, okay well let's we're gonna start greg you basically fucking describe spore yeah oh I, i've been playing sports so that might be it okay we really 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 hope that you guys have a fantastic christmas yes we do it doesn't matter Ooh, before we wrap it up we're gonna add our new little section where um we're gonna show some of your art that you guys have sent in to us because we've received a handful of fan art since we started this and some of it well i see some I, I love all of it but the detail in some of them and the efforts some people have gone to is fucking amazing so when we get some artwork in i'm gonna try and have Try and get one for every podcast, maybe. 
you guys, if you if you are any budding artists out there, and you want to do some stuff for you us, I'll even... happily involve it in the podcast. You c- so yeah, look, we're, I'm going to show some pictures now while we're talking. You could be the shittest artist. We'll still have a look at your art, and if it's so shit, it's funny. We're going to put it in. You know what I mean, Greg? You got like alcohol red cheeks. Oh man, you I have feel... your Bluetooth. <laughs> <man. laughs> I'm like Alex Ferguson. I feel <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the Three Skins podcast. Whether you're listening on YouTube, Spotify, I don't know yet because we're, we're still, still in the middle of sorting it. The mm. battery's about to die. Please make sure you go and follow all of our social medias. They're all in the description. The tip jar is also down in the description as well. You know, Everyone really gets helps. a shout out. Yes. You can jar. write a little message and we will shout mm-hmm. it out. Oh, okay. I think that's going to wrap it up. Like a present. I am actually physically drained from that. Dude. Like, I'm exhausted. I feel like I've run a marathon. You need to... to Greg, watch. you look like your face has been slapped. <laughs> I feel like it, mate. Uh, it, they're so warm. <laughs> <laughs> you, no, do you know what you look like? They're so you know warm, the Santa uncom- Claus film as he's transitioning into Santa Claus and he gets all blotchy cheeks? You look like you're you're starting your transition yeah, yeah, into Father Santa Christmas. Santa Claus has blotchy cheeks. Alcoholism? Definitely. Mate. What do you think he does the rest of the year? Exactly. He must... Well, the elves do all the work. Don't they? Yeah, he suppose. hits the whiskey. <laughs> you would, though. I would. Yeah. Uh, yeah no, living in the fucking much. North Pole, what else are you going to do? Make toys. <laughs> Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Drink. <laughs> Have a good Christmas. Have a holly jolly you Christmas. Feel the animals. Oh, and I, w- I, w- I want to say one thing. If you have family members out there that you don't get along with, this Christmas, ring them and just say, let's put our things aside. And ring them and say, don't fucking bother coming round, you cunt. I don't want to argue with you again about the time you spilt wine on no, my no, carpet. Just, just, <laughs> just get over it, families. Come together, man, at Christmas. It's time yeah. of loving and, yeah. and charitable sit, sit good there and explain, so, go, so explain to them what I explained to you earlier. And they'll be like, oh shit, I never saw it from that perspective. We're not friends. Don't all your friends and family that you haven't spoken to in years and tell them that you still love them. Unless, so, unless you know, like, like, you've got a bad relationship with them. Which, like, really bad. Like, you know, like the bad, bad kind. Not right. the bad. But, Bye, guys. <laughs>